Well, good morning, everyone. It's going to be a fun day today. It is a day out in Took. We are going to two classic car shows today, which will result in two different videos. First step is to get to uh, Poppet Sands near Cardigan for a cars and coffee sort of a meet. One of these breakfast meetings that seem to be all the rage at the moment. Never been before, don't know what's going to be there, but Took is going to be there, hopefully. So we'll jump in and head off. Well, we're on our way. Tuck's transmission sounding as awful as ever. But uh, we're following a pair of what I think are Massey Ferguson 135 tractors. The parade later today will involve all manner of vehicles. Uh, I've been told they've even had milk floats in the past. So there's a procession of stallions and then anything else that turns up. So uh, we will be part of that later on today. But first we're off to Poppet Sands for the Cars and Classic bit. Well, I'm going to have to refuel on the way, I think. Oh, them belts are squeaking again today. Let's hope they quieten down a bit by the time we get there. That's the first fill up since November, so it's been a while. Let's head to um, Poppet Sands. So it's at 40 miles an hour. Now we can really open her up. That's us at 50. So here we are in a uh, cardigan where we um, came through with um, the Classic Car Club of Cardigan last week. So we'll be convoying up uh, the town centre later on, I think. Across the River Tyvee, which uh, explains this town's Welsh name, Abba Tyvee, Mouth of the Tyvee. Here we are at St Dogmails. It's uh, very, very pretty around here. It's almost Devon-esque in places, I think. Here we are, on St Dogmails. High Street. Not much of a high street, there were two shops. Oh, here's another one. Oh, can I get around that speed hump? Uh, with all but one of my wheels, I can. Oh, that one's going to be a bit more difficult. Uh. Those pillow heat speed humps are not good for three wheelers. I think that was the Renault Master van I hired earlier this year, or was it late last year? I struggle to remember now. Oh well, there is Poppet Sands ahead of us. I've taken this little mini have started the classic lineup. Here comes the Herald 1360 we saw coming in, demonstrating that excellent turning circle. Very, very nice. But a vehicle I'm finding intriguing is this Dodge Dakota Sport. Uh, a pickup truck convertible. Right? It looks factory. So you've got a soft sort of back bit with a plastic rear window and then a roof section that folds over the top. That's uh, a fascinating vehicle. Uh, very, very interesting indeed. Now here's a Charger that Took has actually met before. Uh, because uh, it was in Abrera on one day and I parked up um, to next to this. Oh yeah. Uh, that's the chap who fits my tyres. Uh, GW tyres in Tlanaf. Lovely Mark 1 Escort, Mitsubishi Lancer Evo. Was that a 5 or 6? Six? 6, it is a 6. My time on Retro Japanese was not wasted. Also cool because it's a saloon with a rear wiper. But yeah, let's have a bit of a mooch of what else has turned up. Uh, we've got the Corvette we saw um, when we were coming through Cardigan. That's me and, me and Moody. Uh, quite an early Ford Mustang, I think, on a C plate. That would be about 65, 66. And notch back and all of the red. Part next to my mate dies. Um, much more modern Mustang, which is apparently uh, supercharged for extra hilarity so interesting to have the um, two cars together for a bit of a comparison uh, but yeah more modern stuff as well this isn't a classic car meet this is a car meet 
So um, intriguing cars, the likes of which I've just never seen around here. So it's interesting to see what is hiding in the hills. Uh, AMG. I say it is V8 supercharged Aston Martin. And uh, a little Peugeot 107 hiding in the corner. So here comes the Daimler V8, uh, the two and a half litre we saw um, last week. It was leading our convoy. Just muted waffle. Blah, 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 blah. Here's not my Volvo, just arriving. The cover star of last week's video. Nice um, Series 2 Land Rover there. So yeah, some interesting stuff starting to arrive. A beach yeah, buggy coming in down the back. And uh, yeah, this is uh, Simon's Mini. Simon was at the Hubnut Social, but he didn't bring the Mini, which I can well understand because he lives near here. And uh, Yorkshire is a very long way away from here. But yeah, it's going to be fun seeing people trying to work out what Took is. We've had a lot of um, people getting very confused. So a slightly earlier Corvette. This one's got the vacuum flap that hides the windscreen wipers at the base of the windscreen. So you turn the wipers on, the, the flap pops up and uh, out come the wipers. But I think a little problematic in service, so they um, uh, rather simplified things. But yeah, it's very, very nice. And uh, the beach buggy over here is also very, very lovely. Uh, Volkswagen Beetle based, very, very stylish. I'm not sure I agree with the removal of windscreen wipers. But what a colour, it's a lovely colour. Looks close to... Um, Rover Nightfire Red, but a little more pink. But yeah, there's the uh, engine at the back. No problems working on that. Uh, Mark II Golf has just come in as well. Quite nice. Yes, yes, indeed. It's something a bit different. Buick Electra. Oh, she's gunning it. That is a lovely thing. Look at the width of that, it is huge. There we go, that's quite an interesting modified later Mini. It's got some early features like the earlier non-reverse light rear lights. That's got a sweet little thing. And then we got this. Fabulous looking machine. Look at that. Oh, very, very yeah, cool. Yeah. And uh, I think we've seen the um, Chevrolet next to it before uh, on last year's Drive It Day run. Uh, really nice looking thing. Actually, right hand drive, wood wheels. Just lovely. You got Ford Pop, sounds a bit um, mischievous under the bonnet there. I don't think that's a side valve. Oh no, it's a prefect, it says, but the prefects were four doors. So I'm not sure I believe that, but look at this lovely Gilburn Invader. That's uh, a uh, later one. The Mark II on those, I think, just before the Mark III came out. Modified rear lights again. But uh, Essex V6 originally, I wonder what it's got in it now. So this 100E, yeah, there's a good clue as to what's going on when you look at the gear lever. Some of you may have guessed it. Yeah, MX-5 engine that's going to be um, a fair bit more poke and two whole gears more than it would have had originally also got what i think is a t-type midget i'm um, sneaking in here with that famous gear change under the dashboard but a uh, rev counter ahead of the driver because that's more important for the speedometer the speedometer is just for new passengers <laughs> I thought I'd just park the uh, Invercar next to this Buick Electra, just for a sense of scale. So the front bumpers are level, and uh, yeah, that is quite the size difference. So people are now leaving in their modified cars, in their stock cars, in their classic cars, all sorts going on. Uh, I've brought Tuck up here now to sit next to this remarkable side valve Ford modified in many curious ways it's got a front anti-roll bar and telescopic dampers on it but uh yeah you may be able to hear this um mustang is uh not quiet and now people are sadly leaving events how um, people leave events but uh yeah that is a remarkably loud car got the uh bonnet up on this corvette you see the flap there as discussed earlier 
mighty mighty V8 noises. But that's about us done with this video. So I'm going to say thank you for watching this one. There will be a part two. We are going to go and uh, explore the uh, Bali Saturday classic car run. We're not sure what's involved. We don't know what's happening really, but it should be a lot of fun. So um, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in a future video.